When working in 3D space, you may need to create objects in a particular location so that the angle or plane matches another object that is already in the drawing. This can be difficult, especially when the cursor cannot snap to a 3D geometry in that location. You can easily do this with the Set Working Plane tool. Set Working Plane can be activated from the 3D Modeling tool set or by pressing Shift-1 on your keyboard. You can set the working plane using one of two tool modes. First, three-point mode will define the working plane by three points or by a surface of a rendered object in the drawing. To use the tool in this mode, make sure you are in a 3D view. Click the Set Working Plane tool from the 3D Modeling tool set and select three-point mode from the toolbar. Click to set the first point or the origin of the working plane. Now, click on the second point. This will act as the x-axis for the working plane. The third point will set the y-axis for the plane. After the third point is defined, you will see the working plane location is set. This is useful when working with objects that have sharp angles or fewer vertices. You can also use this mode to define the working plane according to the surface of a rendered object. In a 3D view, select a rendering mode of unshaded polygon, shaded polygon, shaded polygon no lines, or final shaded polygon. Now you will see the cursor change to a pointing hand when over the surface of a rendered object. Click on the surface to define the working plane location. The second mode, planar face mode, aligns the working plane to a planar face. If you are working with NURBS curves, you can use this mode to align the plane perpendicular to a point's tangent on the curve. In a 3D view, click the Set Working Plane tool from the 3D Modeling tool set. Now, simply click on the face of the object to set the working plane. Once the working plane is set, it is left selected to be manipulated. You can also quickly set the working plane to the layer plane by double clicking on the Set Working Plane tool. Double clicking on a planar object will reactivate the working plane on which it was created. The working plane can be quickly set based on the automatic working plane location. Right click on the automatic working plane and select set working plane from the context menu. The working plane helps to easily create and position objects in 3D space. It allows you to draw while in an isometric view and position objects exactly where they are needed.